Cheeky Richo's Kangaroo Fillet with Organic Cherry Glaze. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Kangaroo Fillet cooked in a cherry wine sauce. We've got some Kangaroo Fillet here which is 98% fat free, very high in iron, a very lean source of protein. Because of the low fat content it's actually quite a tough cut of meat as well. So just while we're preparing our cherries we are going to lay our fillets out flat. They're really quite thin as you can see, probably almost half an inch, just a bit over a centimetre thick. So lay our fillets out flat, give them a good sprinkle with some veggie salt, some freshly cracked pepper and a little drizzle of some red wine. Now leave that to one side while we prepare our cherries. We've got our fresh cherries here and we've got a cherry pepper. So we're just going to de-stone our cherries and remove the seeds. Okay, our cherries have been prepared now. Just keep the juice with those as well. Our meat's been sitting for probably 20 minutes. Now we're going to fry this in butter. Now traditionally you don't cook kangaroo till it's really really well done. You're supposed to eat it about medium rare otherwise it'll get much too tough and dry out. Okay to a pan over medium heat we're going to add our butter. You could use oil but I happen to like the flavour that the butter gives the roux. Once that is melted we're going to pop in our kangaroo fillets. Okay our pan's bubbly hot now. Time to lower our roux fillet steaks in there. A nice little sizzle happening, that's what you want to hear. Now once these start to get moisture on the top of the meat, it's time to turn them over. I think we call it crying. After three and a half minutes, you can see that there's moisture starting to bead on the top surfaces of that meat. Can you see that? It's time to turn it over. Just get a nice colour on the other side there. This should be quite springy to touch. And we're going to rest it for about 10 minutes while we prepare our cherry sauce. Okay, time to remove our kangaroo fillet. You can see it's quite stringy now. Allow those juices to fall off it. We're just going to cover this with some foil and stand it in a warm place while we prepare our sauce. That's our sauce. So our sauce is in with our cherries and the juice and pepper. Our cranberry jelly, our balsamic orange glazed vinegar that I've showed you in a different video, the right amount of tart in there. Just warm these through. They don't have to be cooked. Mm, smelling pretty good. I'm going to turn that off. Yeah. The juice is coming off here, you can go back in there. Return any of the juices from the meat to the pan to enrich the sauce. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel and don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Mm. It's outstanding with the cranberry glaze and the cherries. Thanks for watching.